Hello, hello, hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee, bitch Jay Lee's Corner, and this is a different kind of video. Um, if y'all have seen my growing up hip hop video or if you've seen the live live, the uh car conversation I did this morning, um, I mentioned this and that, but I also um, well, since then, you know, we have started to go fund me for my cousin. So, if y'all do not know, um, a cousin of mine was shot, okay? And she's in the hospital, and her, my family has made a go fund me for her. Um, she is 23. No, today's her birthday. So she just turned 24. Um, her name was Raquel, and wait, I got, where it go? I is Raquel. So she's my younger cousin. Her mom's my first cousin. She's my second cousin, and she was shot on Tuesday evening. Um, I found out on Wednesday. I actually have been seeing the story on um on uh Facebook on the news and stuff uh, Wednesday morning, but they did not renounce the person's name who the victim was. Um, so it wasn't until I was at work or whatever, and I seen a couple of my family members post, um, a couple of my cousins, and I was like, wait, what? You know, and it was, I'm like, what's going on? And then when I saw her mom, Mika, who posted, and I'm like, oh, shit, that's my cousin. Okay, because it was on the, on the news here. So, again, Raquel, my cousin, she's, again, a second cousin. She was uh, on maternity leave, you know, she was at the house, and someone knocked on her door, and she went to open the door, and a masked man just started shooting, and she was shot, her five-week-old daughter was shot, um, she is, they're both, you know, well, she's currently in the hospital, um, because as I said, she was shot multiple times, um, in the chest, in the stomach, in the legs, so she's had to have surgeries, you know, because of her injuries, it's gonna be a, a you know, a road to recovery for her, um, as I said, she was on maternity leave. She just had a baby. Her, her daughter was her daughter was five. Her daughter is five weeks. Um, her daughter was shot in the leg, but she's they're both alive and recovering. It could have been way worse, you know. It could have been way worse. And the crazy part is, you know, the person just knocked on the door, and she just opened. She just opened the door, and you know, shots rang out and everything. So, and the person, then the masked man ran away. And they have not caught him yet, to my knowledge. Um, at least, as of t I don't know if anything's happened in the past couple of hours. Um, and you know, it's crazy because again, she's a young girl. You know, two children. You know, young baby. You know, and you know to be shot while you are holding your daughter is, you know, your five week old daughter is crazy. Um, her mom is taking off work to help her because again, you know. That's what moms do. So they have created a GoFundMe for her. So this is what the video is for. If you can please donate, it is very much appreciated. If you cannot donate, if you can at least please share the link to the GoFundMe page for her. Um, because it will be a road to recovery. They're just trying to get some help financially. You know what I'm saying? I don't think um, younger people plan for stuff like this so you know she doesn't have like you know a big savings account with you know thousands put away to help her pay her rent and buy groceries and you know what I'm saying and and whatever else she may need for this time you know to be recuperating and you know so that part is kind of crazy and even for her mom to be helping and everything you know it's just a lot going on because again, no one plans for this kind of foolishness that went on when people are foolish enough to just you know, just do, because who, girl, let me stop, let me, let me, you know, um, there's too much foolishness going on in the world, and it's, it's weird when it hits home to where you're like, dang, I remember when she was born, I remember her as a kid, you know what I'm saying, I, I have not seen Raquel since she was probably like 10, <laughs> you know, since they were, since they were kids, um, but I've, I've seen them grow up, you know, up until it was like 10 or 11 or whatever. And I haven't seen them since then. But again, that's still, they're still my little cousins. Um, and I would never, you know, it's weird to even think it could have been worse. You know what I'm saying? Now she, cause she has her own two kids. She has siblings, her mom, you know, you just don't want, um, people just being caught up in foolishness and lose their lives because someone else is dumb enough to open fire on a um, girl who opens the door. To me, that's just asinine and dumb. So prayers are needed and wanted and appreciated. 
Um, but again, if you can donate, it is greatly appreciated. And again, if you cannot, if you can at least share the link, that is great. But again, it's going to be a little road to recovery for her. She's already had a couple of surgeries. So, you know, that within itself is crazy. And even just the traumatic experience of, you know, having to relive what you went through. So, you know, it's a mental part of it is kind of crazy as well because, you know, she has to still, you know, be a mom. So, it's just kind of crazy. So, again, my cousin Raquel, <laughs> and you know what I'm saying, whatever, she is, you know, doing better in the hospital recovering. But, again, it's going to be a road. So, if you can donate, thank you. If you cannot, please just share it. Um, And y'all know Jay Burris. I love you all. Um, I know she thanks you. I know her mom, Mika, thanks you and everything. I know her siblings, her kids, um, my family just in general. Thank you. Prayers are uh, prayers are always wanted, honey, because prayer works. Anyway, that's what it was for. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.